Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make white chicken chili. Now, in my kettle, I have two split chicken breasts down in here. Put water over it, let it come to a boil, turn it down to a low boil, cook them till they're done. I'm going to take them out now and put them on a plate, let them cool so I can take all the meat off the bone and shred it. And now, save your water that's in the kettle because just chicken broth now that you've made. So, I'm going to skim off all this white stuff too and then we'll come back with the next step. To our clean chicken broth now, I'm going to add another quart of water and then we'll add some chicken bouillon to it in a minute. We're going to put in one onion that has been chopped, one can of diced chilies, these are mild, and that is a four ounce can. Then you're going to need three cans of white beans. I chose Great Northern, but there's navy beans and there's the Catalonian beans. And each can was 15 ounces. I've rinsed and drained them. I'll put some chicken bouillon in it. About two bouillons worth. And I'm using better than bouillon brushed chicken base. It don't matter what you use. As long as it's some kind of chicken bouillon. I'm going to bring this back up to heat. We're going to put in two minced cloves worth of garlic. Or garlic powder if you don't have minced garlic. Alright, let's put some seasoning. Two teaspoons of some oregano. Two teaspoons of cumin. And even this white chicken chili, I've put some chili powder in. It's about a teaspoon or two of some chili powder. Now that's going to tint my broth a little bit red, but I have to have chili powder in my white chicken chili. So one to two teaspoons of that. Traditionally, they don't have chili powder in it. We're going to put some salt and some pepper to taste. And we're just going to bring this back up. And then as soon as our chicken cools, I'm going to shred it and add it to it. And then there's a couple other things. Okay, let's put our shredded chicken in. I'm going to put in about a fourth of a cup of chopped cilantro. Alright, the last step to your white chicken chili is you put an 8 ounce block of softened cream cheese in it. Now, this is optional. We love it. And it'll start melting into your chili. And you just gotta come and stir it. It's melting ever so often. Here's your white chicken chili. Ladle you some in a bowl and serve it with some crackers or you can eat it with tortilla chips. We like to put it in a bowl and top it with a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of shredded cheese, and some chopped cilantro, and some pickled jalapenos. It's totally up to you what you wanna garnish it with. And that cream cheese makes it so creamy. If you want to put a jalapeno in here as it cooks, you can. But there you have it, white chicken chili, my version.